Hello, and welcome to C4 Miles Draft League Season 2, Week 8. Second game, this match is between Benji, coach of the Canadian Milk Bags, and Actius, coach of Mukuro Attack. The Mega Pokemon in this game are Mega Venusaur for Benji, and Mega Charizard Y for Actius. And the Z Pokemon for each coach are Z Any Hoopa and Z Attack Boltund for Benji. And Actius's Z Pokemon are Z Any Venomoth and Z Attack Nihilego. It looks like very few Z Pokemon. Actually, yeah, just Boltund came. Those are the only Pokemon that can use Z moves that. Well, the only Pokemon that has Z moves that can come. But otherwise, no Zs. But both Megas can. Alright, let's see here. Mandibuzz kind of cooks Actius's almost all of Actius's team. Just U turns. Like on the big threats, Dusk Noir literally just can't do anything this match until Mandibuzz is dead. Clef Key, while it does have super effective damage, kind of gets U-turned on so hard. And then Zygarde comes in, clicks Thousand Arrows, picks up a kill. I mean, Thousand Arrows absolutely destroys Actius. There's no resist. There's no grass here. Um, and then even if there was a grass, Actius' grass is weak to Outrage. Well, Appleton is weak to Outrage. Tangrowth is... Pretty good. Well, actually, wait. I think he exchange, they exchanged for um, Tangrowth. I. Oh, I'll be doing that. Whatever. Anyways. Slow. Let's see here. Then also, Blissey kind of walls the other stuff. So it's just like Benji's playing with his offense cards, and if his offense dies, um, just everything else is so fat to the point where it's just like, okay, wow. <laughs> so if Actius wants to win, Actius has a great Volturn core, and there's no ground type on Benji's team. Which means that Electros can Volt Switch every time it comes in for free. And that would mean if Blissey or Elect or Blissey or uh, Venusaur were forced to come in to the play. I, I'm going to say no. I don't know how Actius breaks Blissey reliably because anything that can kill Blissey kind of gets walled by Venusaur or Mandibuzz. Um, specifically, Lando T is some one of the three main components of the defensive core needs to be killed. And that's kind of what I'm looking for Actius to do to pick up a win in this scenario. Or, they. For them to do to pick up a win in this scenario. So, I I think they have a pretty pretty good matchup here going ready to go. I'm interested to see how Actius deals with this absolutely disgusting defensive court. Lando T leads, so this kind of just gives Venusaur the ability to go for instant lead seed, which we'll miss. <laughs> Fly is actually pretty good here. There is no flying resist. Mandibus comes in hard on the fly, which does 30%, which I don't... I know that um, Actius commonly brings banned, but it's evidently not banded. So... I'm wondering what it is, kind of, right now. It might have been Sash or Rocky Helmet. What? Expert Belt. Interesting. I like the experimentation, though. So, out goes Lando on the Defog. I think Spikes or Thunder Wave are coming. Yep, Thunder Wave comes in. Manaphy's probably going to switch in here. Nope. Greedy light screen, never punished. <laughs> in comes Charizard for free, pretty much. Eruption does almost half. Blissey's going to switch in. You know, 
setting up sun for this demon seems kind of scary. <laughs> Especially after it did almost half behind light screen. So in comes Dusk Noir and Blissey. Toxic comes off. I think in the future, I think if anything's a semblance of what to do, it's to bring freaking Heal Bell. And I don't know if Actius has Heal Bell Pokemon, but they very well could. So this, yeah, Mandibuzz is burned. It's going to want to go for Knock here, or U-Turn, I guess. But yeah. Knock is probably a little bit more evident. Volt Switch is the clear play I, I would call. Because, yeah, you just gain so much momentum. Super Fang is a great move in this matchup, though. Very well thought out. Leech Sheet goes up on probably another Super Fang. Yep. So, unless this is Synthesis, Venusaur is looking in actually pretty bad shape. Oh. Well, um, sorry to say, but you're not breaking that Venusaur with any Electros. Giga Drain does a million... Ooh, it's looking tough. Leech Sheet's going to make it impossible. In comes Dusk Noir and probably a Giga Drain. Yeah, takes not that much, actually. I think Dusk Noir is kind of free to just Poltergeist someone now. Though Mandibuzz kind of comes in for free. Will-O-Wisps again. No cigar. Manaphy come in and Tail Glow, maybe. In comes Clef Key. Interesting. Mandibuzz is back to full pretty much. Boltund comes in <clears throat> on the light screen. Probably just going to go for Thunder Fang. Fire Fang does over half. Reflect is possible. Life Orb Rocky Helmet Chip does a lot. Dazzling Gleam does not quite put it in range. Uh, will Fire Fang kill? The sun is actually... I, I feel like the sun is actually acting in, like, detrimentally to Actius here. So... In comes Landorus on probably Ice Fang? No, not Ice Fang. Is this Earthquake? Earthquakes. Easy switch to Mandibuzz. Good call by Benji. Though... I... Yeah, I'm not... Does that not have Stone Edge? I feel like just a couple moves should have probably been changed here. Hmm. In comes Venusaur. This does not have Volt Switch, does it? <sighs> I feel like if this had Volt Switch, Actius might be winning right now. Because they would have so much momentum. Synthesis, Psychic does no percent. Wow. I won't say this is domination, because Benji's been kind of... I don't... Struggling's not the correct word. It's just... A lot of these Pokemon have been so close to dead at one point, it's just really good prep. Like Giga Drain, Synthesis, Leech Seed, making the unkillable machine. And I'm going to guess that this just wins from here. Fly goes off. Leech Seed misses. In comes Mandibuzz. The vicious cycle. <laughs> Come on, have Stone... Oh, it doesn't have Stone Edge. Oh, well. Fly comes off. Toxic's probably going to finish off. Landorus. If I had to guess... That's going to do a significant amount. Just kidding. Toxic's going to finish off Lando, though. And that's one down. Or one more down. Manaphy comes in. Blissey comes in. Yeah, nothing's breaking Blissey. Unless this has, like, Psy Shock. Can this learn Psy Shock? Even with four? Uh, that's two times base. Let me do the math real quick. So. so. 
I did the math. It's pretty much impossible for this to do a Kalos Surf. So, unless it has a Rain Dance and Hydro Pump. Yeah, 40%. If this had a Rain Dance and Hydro Pump, Benji would actually be on skates right now. Like, it doesn't even have to be Z Rain Dance. Because I know this gets Psychic. I don't know if it gets Ice Shock. Interesting. Aguav Berry. Still impossible to a KO, though. <laughs> and Toxic's going to finish off Manaphy because Blissey has Protect. <laughs> I'm surprised no Teleport Blissey, though, to be honest. I mean, and Benji's not an offensively-minded player either way, so I'm not actually that surprised. I don't think it gets Teleport and Wish either, so whatever. In comes Typhlosion on Klefki. Dazzling Gleam does absolutely nothing. Flamethrower or, or Eruption will kill from this point. Psychic does no percent, and Eruption is going to close out the game for a 6 0 uh, from Benji. Um, I think, to be completely honest, this was a prep battle, not a. Yeah, this is a prep battle. Benji just, I think. Add Actius on skates before the battle even started, really. A lot of the Pokemon just seemed nigh impossible for Actius to break without insane prediction and, like, better moves. Because I, I wouldn't call Actius' choice of moves bad. It's just some moves needed to be on Pokemon that I don't think they were on. And nothing could stop the Venu train. Other than Charizard got sacked to Bolt Hunt. So, yeah. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Good game, both coaches. Very fun match. <laughs>